Uh, as you can see, we're playing Diablo 3 because this video is supposed to be about Diablo 4, but I just kind of wanted to address a few things with you guys. Okay, Diablo 3 Season 29 is here. It's a very fun, very short, very low content season, just a way to go out, which big shout out to Blizzard for that. It's actually very, very fun. We're having a blast with our Crusader, our Thor build, which is really fun. Definitely check out the vids on that on the channel. But more importantly, what I wanted to talk about today was the state of Diablo 4, which I know you guys have seen all over the place. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to give my two cents and just why, as a Diablo 4 content creator, why there's just been such a lull. And it's really, it re has really hurt me and my channel because there's just nothing to do and with the state of the game and how poor it is. Uh, we don't we don't really see anything on the horizon, if you will. So uh, a lot of things, a lot of things have changed with the game and just kind of like some small hot fixes, some EXP updates, and then some tweets from Rod Ferguson and Joe about um, all this content that's going to be coming from Diablo for season two. Uh, so much content that it's going to be in two streams. So we're going to kind of talk about that and just see why the like fall of Diablo 4 has really happened. Now, if you've been to any of my live streams, we've talked about this a lot and just kind of how a lot of these things have really caused the player base to just go away. You know, a lot of it is the devs. A lot of it is the updates, the worst, you know, arguably some of the worst uh, patch updates in history uh, in gaming history, history, which is not a good thing or a good sign to be associated with your game. And then just the lack of overall content, especially into the end game. So let's go over here and just take a look at some of the stuff that um, was tweeted out by Rod. I know this was a couple days ago, but so Rod tweeted out that there is so much stuff in Diablo 2, uh, Diablo 4 Season 2, that Pez Radar, which is Adam, uh, will need to host two deep dive streams to cover it all. Now, in the past, there has been, you know, the campfire streams and stuff where the devs have really talked to us and they really want to be engaging and, you know, just kind of like give us good feedback. And, and you know, they say they're listening to the community and they want to provide these changes. Although in recent GameCon where they had this interview, we learned that not only are they still learning things, but they're all, a lot of their devs that are working on this game are brand new developers and they've never worked on a game before. That is Rod's uh, quote and that they're all learning. Now I will say I'm not, this video is not meant to like bash them really hard, but it's just more of a kind of like when you're a parent with your teenager and you're like, man, I'm not upset at you. I'm just disappointed. We got so much overall hype and so many things promised to us. And the game and the devs over at Blizzard have just fell short for Diablo 4. So although like people can make mistakes and they can just learn from their mistakes and do things, that's one thing. But to just chalk it all up to being an overall excuse that we are learning things as Blizzard and Diablo 4 when you've been working on this game and it was, what, for 10 years, 7 years, something like that. There's just no excuse for it, period. Um, now, however, with the there's so much stuff into two deep dive streams that in and of itself is kind of cool so uh then uh, adam goes on to say it's quite a lot they expect both the streams to be two hours so two of the streams each of them being two hours a piece and uh you can kind of just see what's going on now a lot of it is probably going to be talking about the season of blood which we've already got a hint at with the five end game bosses which is new and returning foes um my first initial thoughts on this is that it's just going to be um, bosses that you fought during the storyline campaign which is just one thing like that's cool and not cool but more importantly the best thing about it is probably the target farming of uniques and uber uniques um through not only season zero but season one a lot of people struggle to get those really good uniques whether it's like the remnant chest piece for the sorcerer or it's like the, probably the most sought after one which is the tempest war for the druid because druid's insane um you know having these to be able to target farm them are really really nice five bosses i'm assuming that there's going to be a boss for each class and my initial guess is going to be that they are going to lock these behind a nightmare dungeon to where you could farm these or maybe it's a location that you can go to hopefully it's not a nightmare dungeon because we can't um craft specific sigils to go farm it so you'd have to be doing the randomizing game which would make that in it of itself target farming non-existent um at all so 
Uh, then the Renown Wards, they are finally just carrying everything over. This, to me, just, you know, that's a big dove, and they're probably going to be talking about that a lot in the dev streams um, just to kind of be like, hey, look, guys, we listened to you, and now you don't have to do Renown anymore, which should have been uh, an initial thought anyway. should have already been done, but that's okay. So that's one thing, right? And then, of course, we got the status effect um, elements. This updated elemental resistance system, there's no uh, update it should be removed because the elemental uh, resistance system has never even been in place. So if they do fix this, then that is a big dub for the guys over at Blizzard. I hope that this should be here. Uh, but these are the kind of things that kind of drew players away from the game. Like this kind of stuff should have been fixed in the first place and then vulnerability overpower and crit strike damage updates i have a big huge feeling they're going to spend a lot of time talking about this and it's going to be nerfed even more because these besides overpower vulnerability and crit strike damage are like two of the main stats that you need to have on pretty much all of your weapons and damage modifiers because they're the only things that give you multiplicative damage um to your builds that make you incredibly strong the gem and stash tab uh we already knew about gems no longer taking space and stash tabs can be searched and filtered finally i don't know why this is an update as if it's a fix this should have already been in place um hopefully we get more than one more stash tab coming to season two but we'll see how that goes okay so i know they're probably going to spend a lot of time talking about this so let's talk about why a few things that they've updated and just why players are just gone there's a huge lack of content the builds in a lot of these especially 1.1.1 a lot of these um patch notes and updates that they've done have really hurt the game uh which have really drawn players away and then more importantly even if that wasn't such a big deal the huge lack of end game content is really what makes it really really rough so uh let's look at a few updates that they had changed here that uh they sought after to bring people back um they did try to do a 25 percent um exp week for a uh, lilith's blessing as it were it was lilith's blessing that they had done uh to kind of bring people back uh with the mother's blessing which this was 25 percent exp and gold increase for the five days or uh yeah five days now, one thing to note about this, and this is what we're going to talk about with the next things, I really feel like Blizzard is just panicking and trying to bring people back, which it's it's kind of like one of those first impression things, like the damage is already done. I've talked to this about with my community many times, especially with a game like um, No Man's Sky. Although No Man's Sky might be great now, they promised and hyped all these things, and then on launch and for years after, it was really bad. Now, a lot of people make the argument about Diablo 3 also having the same thing, but at the same time you know we as gamers want to pay when we're paying 60 70 80 90 100 dollars for a game we want to have that game be complete and then the patch notes and additional uh expansions and those things that we're probably gonna have to pay for are gonna be additions to the game not fixes to the game so but this was a additive and not a multiplicative rate. So this really only gave you about a 2% increase in EXP for a week. So again, Blizzard trying to trick people to come back. Um, so one more thing here that they added was the Urn of Aggression is now 20% instead of 8% EXP. Again, this is not multiplicative. This is just additive. Same thing with the original 8%. Uh, they wanted to do this to help players get there faster, but it's you're really not. Although technically you're getting there faster because 20% additive is better than 8%, sure. But again, this is not something to, uh, to support this statement. The last one that they did was uh, a few days ago, right before these tweets, is they added another hotfix to the game to increase experience even more because the lack of the player base is really bad. Experience for killing monsters in World Tiers 3 and 4. 5% for world tier three and 15% for world tier four. Again, these percentages are additive, not multiplicative, which means that a 15% additive EXP to a 10 per, like earning 10 damage from, or 10 EXP from killing a monster is not 15% more. It's just additive to that. So it's not like it's a huge EXP gain. So again, this is still another thing to kind of trick players into thinking that they're gaining a lot of EXP when in fact they actually are not. We tested this in great, um, uh, like we, we tested this like in depthly about, about the EXP gains. So um, now uh, with that aside, guys, uh, there's a, there is a few things. I really hope that the game gets better. 
I really hope if this four hours that they're talking about is going to be really, really good, then that's great. But I have a feeling they're just going to be talking about a lot of this, a lot of this, and then just talking about how this thing we did for you guys. And then there's not really a whole lot. The whole heart theme now is just malignant hearts all over again or the vampiric powers are just the malignant hearts all over again you're just basically swapping that out for vampiric power so i don't think that the content is going to be super super in depth or a lot of content in and of itself but that is just my thoughts guys i thought about bringing up this video because it really sucks because i had so much time and passion and you know just obsession with diablo 4 during the first month and a half it came out maybe two months if, if you want to stretch it even dealing with the bad updates and now it's just gotten to a point where the game is just really 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 bad if you go over to twitch like it's the the viewership is just non-existent when you go to diablo 4 there's just nobody playing um just nobody actually playing the game and i know that diablo 4 is is not the end all be all on twitch there's only 616 viewers right now which is just crazy in and of itself and at its best day there's 300,000 players playing on any given day which is a very very low number in comparison to how well the game was doing at launch or in season zero so uh guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think i know a lot of people are just going to default to the game is dead uh, which essentially it is but i really hope that you know the game the game does flourish and we could do something better because i enjoyed making content for the game and doing and having just a lot of fun with the community playing so that's my two cents guys i hope this changes otherwise we got diablo 3 season 29 and we're having a blast with that so let me know what you guys think down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace